forward. And we've seen Vladimir Shen a lot, actually. It was one of the favorites of Griffin towards the uh, end of 2018 as well. It is trash in lane. Oh, Terrible. yeah. As uh, Snowflower is taking a bit of har harassment here as the Infernal Chains, the flash forward, the Ignite. Is it going to be enough as Fly's ticking down? One more and that's it. The solo Pretty low minimum distance. Predator pops. rush on cooldown, and yeah, the Predator has been popped as Cube not even going to flash. The Body Slam's been held onto for so long, and he's just dead. Life no one will walk up. Drake at about 1,800. Yep, Life actually saw BDD was there and said, no, I don't want this, but he has to have it, as now he's going to be taken down. The Thresh delivered towards the Aatrox. Paranoia for the follow-up here. Still four members of KT down, but they turn instantly. Peanut infernally chained and destroyed as he bit off way more than he could chew. Wildend was still available. Snowflower's level six, Stand United available, and KT instantly have. Yeah, again, uh, actually wants to find him for the first time here. Is the Infernal oh. Chain gonna be flashed on yet again? Fly doesn't take the claw, because Stand United, as we mentioned before, is there. World Ender oh. means that he is going to probably survive. Okay, gets on out as the World Ender. Couple of seconds, but they don't Cube. wait long enough as Cube jumps on into the back line. The Shen is gonna be taken down. BDD is canceled out. Yeah. For Genji, so good to see top side. Paranoia is going to come in, no flash for King and no way to get out. Will he have the shield in time? The answer is no. Terrify comes in and Peanut first success. AT in the bot lane Boom. are doing better than expected. The Vladimir is not significantly behind and Vladimir Shen don't deserve to get out of lane on paper this unscathed. Exactly, and it was all part of the provided as Ruler did manage to use the flash. 14 minutes means the turret plates are now down. Through shot barrage onto Shelly, but she's continuing. Outside of that last Nocturne ultimate spin, a game run by KT Rolster. Let's see how they reset, because the honeymoon phase of the early game where they're just killing everyone. He's waiting oh, for this, no. and KT, Umpty doesn't know. Yeah, the flash forward from Fly wants to take it down, but that's a great stopwatch coming in from Umpty. Can they save his life? The body slam gets in there, blocked by Peanut, as Umpty's still trying to keep himself alive. Cube doing so much work in the back line, but here comes Zenit, and Umpty somehow still alive. BDD here a little bit late now as life goes into his stasis, and Kingen picks up that kill. It's a messy Side. one. Man, was Umpty living on a prayer oh, at the I start, know. only just kept up by a combat Shen ultimate. BDD. BDD in trouble, just going to be taken down by both sides. Trying to make things happen where QV is, which right now might behoove the team. QV is actually building into potentially the really of Gen.G is, uh, well, Peanut's in trouble. He is. Does, I believe, already have the GA, but has to choose an enemy target and doesn't want to go near any of them. There's so many wards on top of that lantern, you ain't taking that at all, and life could not offer Five seconds off cooldown, needs to kite with the team, can't kite separately. With nope. a TP, gonna just condemn him to death. All aggressive, has the lantern that can uh, pick him back up, assuming life is in position. Hook gonna land onto Umpty here, but they're not gonna go in on this full health Gragas at the moment. Kingen. Yeah, Kingen. Purging this Raptor camp, it has to flash very early as Peanut pops the ultimate. Hook lands as the barrel comes down and Kingen I don't know whether that was worth it for the stopwatch, but he does get out until he doesn't. True Shot Barrage going to finish off that roster anymore. So because of that, their lane assignment is Vlad at best, halving CS against Raw. He has a lot of very strong champions, not necessarily gifted as many ways to win. So whether they can actually do it is the question. King in cycling his ghost. As they're going to head over to this mountain, Drake BDD wants to jump on forward. World Ender comes down, a couple still in the pit as Cube throws out the slicing maelstrom. This might be the cannon ult that they wanted as we're down into the passive for BDD. They get one of them as Zenit joins the fighters. Fly will be taken out eventually. Self ult and Zonya's not enough. That is KT picking up two, but the mountain Drake. And what will Genji do? Well, we'll see whether they can actually do anything here as Snowflower is just body blocking. The Baron down extraordinarily low, no vision available. And not going to be able to do an aiming on this one. Ruler didn't have to. You can dive the cannon. These are things that weren't possible. Their lane assignments with Baron up can't be BDD and Baron cannon themselves. Lane. Winning the game themselves just didn't happen. Fly taking a lot of damage here under the turret. As that's actually a Hemoblade coming out from Zenit. Doesn't want to commit. It's okay. Ruler just kills Snowflower out of nowhere. Didn't see how the health bar started to go down at the end of it. It's very ass. They don't I have know. the same expression. Mm -hmm. KT, take down the Drake. Another one. We know that Ezreal is happening. Ezreal damage as well. It's a pretty cool uh, Zenit healing as well from the Vladimir. Snowflower dives on forward. Don't know whether that's the engage they want though. As Fly does go into stasis in the middle of a team fight. We've hit sepia mode. That is a very pivotal time. 
to call the pause. We get some very dramatic different angles here and we can still hear the sound. I've never seen a pause Thanks. with a claw actually in midair. It's actually very detailed. Yeah. You really can never cool. really appreciate spell detail because you're usually distracted by whether it's killing you or you're killing them. I know, and the Frozen Tomb has a face. I didn't know the Frozen Tomb. They do throw down the ward, but Hello? the Baron's just going to be taken. There's two mountain drakes there, guys. Yeah, that's, uh, that's just a Baron. <laughs> Golf Good lord. Okay, Cube going to be spotted out here. That's important, although they trade for Umpty's health bar. He's now down very, very low as they pick up the aggro on this Elder Drake. Sounds now Peanut. Peanut might actually get engaged on. True Shot Barrage is going to go completely wide. Is Gen.G not pulling the trigger? They've got so many engage tools, so many options, but not actually pulling it just yet. Fly, Claw of Doom available. KT staying as a unit as BDD now looking for the flank. Flanking Aatrox isn't necessarily what you're expecting as a hook does land on a Kingen, but in goes BDD. Paranoia uh -oh. comes down, but the explosion on the Thrash starts off the fight. QV so damn low, and the Purge looking to take him down the flash forward, but not going to quite find it just yet. Double kill comes in from Zenith, though, as Ruler versus the world. The Genji story is going to conclude. KT, they find the initiation and destroy the fight. Kenna does it well. Vladimir does it better. 809 AP wielded on the faces of Genji. They fall down. It was close, but no cigar. And that means that KT Rolster, after a weird and wonderful game, should end through bot, even though Peanut is valiantly trying to take down the mid lane minion wave. Yeah, I feel like I've seen this one before on his least. Now on the Nocturne, just farming when he can't do anything else. KT will win game number one against Gen G. It, there are ups, there were downs, but in the end, KT come out victorious and they're still going to be happy. If there's ups and downs, the roll. It's your boy, Ruler. <laughs> Nocturne ult with Shen coming in as well, GP ult as well, and maybe even Kingen teleporting in to yep. also dungeoneered. Level two is speaking of level twos. Yeah, the flash disdain is going to come in as the level two immediately lands. King in wants to get out, but the level two ganks too good. And despite a miscue, Peanut will grab first blood very early. Champions that can deal with this too well, but they're going to take the risk anyway. Umpty is going to get flashed on here by life. The Q does land as Peanut's waiting for the flash. Umpty waits even longer though and uses his dust bringer to get over to this blast cone. Good double taunt, as it feels like Snowflower may have just sacrificed himself for the good of his jungler. Bit of trading places there and the Vladimir Beyond. also. Peanut going to be able to take down this Mountain Drake. Takes a lot of a beating. But uh, with life helping out, he will be able to grab it. <laughs> he was a pretty humbly. Genji with a thousand Done a lot of lead. stuff. And that's so something we could have assumed by Genji by reputation or their place so far. So Roach all in on top. This King in. He might need to throw down that barrel, but Roach is just going to eat him. Okay, eat some oranges. He is going to be K for the moment, but the Ignite, Ignite and the last auto are enough to do some abilities here, but at least Syndrome doesn't come down as now Fly's trying to do what he can. Ruler has been bounced on. Hemo Plague will get rid of him, and two kills very quickly for KT. As uh, I think I've seen this one as well, as the oranges have Ninja Tabi to try and save himself from this situation, as uh, Peanut lying in wait. Shelly is going to be unleashed. On to Kingen. That's, That's a lot of turret plates. They're going to come in. And they're so happy to see the Mountain Drake coming down so late, like you mentioned. Turret plates and also maybe just first turret blood, as GP can do nothing, and he wants to ult bot lane to get a double kill again. Yep. Going to have that cannon barrage available. Puts it down immediately. Paranoia comes in immediately. Stopwatch comes out, though, as the flash was maybe a little bit of a bridge too far, He's but Umpty is going uh -oh. to die. Okay. Ultimate comes in, stands united, also double duty as Snowflower gets himself to relative safety, but now the taunt is going to miss. Roach pays a visit. Ruler eventually goes down, but it's a bit of a fiesta down here on the bottom side of the map, and a double kill goes over to fly. BDD uses the last shot. But this is also not a late game yet. And at this time, at the one item point, I feel like Genji is stronger. Taking away Omti. Yeah, is going to use the stopwatch to deny that damage as flashes over the wall now. He's going to get engaged on is okay. He's getting a whole host of trouble. The Fear Beyond Death comes in. Instant cleanse from BDD as he trades the junglers. Roach now just kiting back. Zenith weren't ball. working because one of those things goes away and things fall apart. Speaking of falling apart. Yep, Stand United is going to be there, but he just dies way too quickly. Umpty fighting off more than he can chew yet again. Exhaust immediately down onto King and who eats some oranges. And BDD dives forward, has the shroud down, but it's a two versus three. And I don't know why KT are even trying to go for it. BDD creating game number two. Yeah, and 
Otzi knows that this is the Ocean Drake going down, but there's just absolutely nothing he can do about it. BDD looking for Flies. He uh, gets out with the Claw, and the Paranoia is going to follow up. Not a lot of options here for Fly, as the Teleports are coming in. Oh, that's a really good Zonyas to come forward as Fly eventually falls, but do Gen G have enough to offer back? It's another stopwatch as that goes wide from life. Doesn't get the cask in, and Roach is going to fall as well. A kill going to Kingen is precisely what he wanted. Kingen, who, after the laning phase, could have been about it. A lot of our Korean players just like the extra damage Kingen's that you have available. Is, uh, yeah, Kingen's just going to see his death at the moment. Wants to find the cannon barrage, does put it down. His life is a support, remember, but does get the body slam in there. Steric's gauge was completed. He's surviving for so damn long, but not long enough. The Snowflower was Make delivered. it towards helping Ruler here in the mid lane, but is it going to be before or after? This turret goes down. Snowflower eventually rejoins. Roach not going to get here early enough. And Zenit just going to take that tower down. So it's Chen Ultimate coming through does extend the fight, they back off Snowflower, they can't chase for him, and there's a confirmation that KT do pick up the Ocean Drake, not the highest priority. More high priority for both of these squads wanting to augment their first with a second. This tower going to be uh, still taken down, that pesky caster creep lasting for a little bit longer than they should, but need to be respected, but Fly's found himself a free lane and will be able to take down this turret without any issue at all. A little buff not really craved by anyone, Snowflower. Yep, he's gonna get exhausted as he dives all the way forward. No Hemo Plague available, remember. There's KT looking for this fight. Cannon Barrage doing so much work. It's incredibly high value. BDD finds his way forward. Terrify under Roach, but the, the Purge is there, sorry, with the shield. Now Life trying to kite BDD back. He will be going down as the afterthought kill comes in with the Mystic Shot, but King and dies as well. And now we got low health bars, one Mystic Shot each will be the deaths of all of KT and Ruler says, nope, that's not what we want. Let's get a Baron. Well played, Gen that G. top side. So theoretically, some sort of flank could have come in, but Zenit not going to opt in for it. Teleport does eventually come down, but it is way too late. Zenit by him. Damn right they are. This game's still extraordinarily even, but a Mountain Drake is going to come in for Gen G as they pick up a Baron. And these towers, the you saw the low health bars on both teams, but the... Parlay on the barrel was just a second just to keep my mind a bit of a refresher. It wasn't that long on the pause. As the inner turret does go down, KT don't go for anything. This should be a very high value Baron because KT only have all in. To dissuade this GP ult to maybe zone away from one minion wave. Here we go. But they do have fly on the top side of the map, so it has to teleport to get his way down here. Sonic wave. He's going to miss. Zenit, Tides of Blood, just to try and clear out these minions. Omti from this side. We've started it here as Snowflower goes in. BDD diving on forward. The Emo Plague is going to get rid of Peanut, but can they get more? Yes, they can! As BDD, oh. the Lord of the Backline, and the follow up from Omti is huge. Fly is eradicated, and that's the ace for KT. Roll, so you oh, said they're all. It. With some of these turret takes, and they'll break the base first against the team that theoretically would have had a minute left on the Baron. All right, how far are we going, KT Rolster? Is it just game over right now? It seems so unlikely, life already on the rift. We try to interrupt, and the respawn's coming in. We can take a breath. Let's get that replay, because... It's going to be more and more difficult to deal with. 3,000 health, as well as just building straight damage. It's just so scary. It's king and Running on forward, Roach is slowed down, and I don't know what he can actually do here. The Flash Torn oh. comes down as Fly comes in with a lot of CC, but Paranoia is going to stop any extra engage. BDD fighting against Peanut, but on the back end, Zenit trying to go forward. Doesn't actually get, it, get too much, but the Hemo Plague gives his health back as Fly's ran out of buttons. That can save him, and BDD is the one that finishes it up against Ruler. Roach and Fly limping away as these solo laners are having a real hard time. And Peanut on the backside, KT have just split them up, and now they're just looking for the win. We're all dead, they're gonna try and end the game. 40 seconds on the Ezreal. Peanut would actually be smart to stop the minion wave. It's the right call here, but KT might brute force it anyway. Yep, BDD gonna dive on forward, does have the Shroud down as well, so not gonna be collecting okay. the turret aggro. First one going to come in here, as that's uh, the backdoor bonus onto these turrets, meaning that they can't Roach. actually take them. Senate is going to go down. That is a huge deal as Peanut can get back in. The fear beyond death is instilled in the hearts of the KT fans as Genji get an ace back. And they might win. Wait, They're going to no, try and push. Kill the barrel. Yeah, barrel Didn't isn't going to be killed though as the cannon barrage does come in. Backdoor bonus is not going to save it against five members of Genji. They're going to have to wait for another minion wave to conga line forward. 
So that the Nexus turrets can start being under fire. Gen this G game can confirm. Fiesta ending to what has been an entertaining game number two. Genji get the Baron as they deserve. They get the inhibitor. So I think overall they didn't try to bite up. To say that, that Ruler can't carry this one, he's got the GA as well. Here's the fight. Peanut on the top side trying to once again gatekeep BD out of a fight. Second inhibitor will go down. Baron for another minion wave and a half. They're going to bring in that minion wave. Still on the Genji roster for 40. Six seconds. 500 gold is only the power play. It's a lot closer than the previous situation. They're trying to bring the minion wave from mid to try to help with the top. Wow, so Snowflower diving on forward fly is going to instantly explode, but no, able to get the ult off just in time. Backline ruler fighting against everyone as BDD. Can he actually do it? Nope. I think the answer might be no, as the Zonyas has to be utilized. KT have picked up one fly. Fell, but BDD is going to go down as well. And see you later, Nocturne. Umpty also in the death chamber. Zenit is still alive, but Super Creeps are knocking on the front door of KT. And do they have enough to repel the three man, now four man siege as the teleport comes in? They've got coming back. They've got good wave clear here, so the game won't end, but three inhibitors will go down at minimum. They're going to try for more anyway. They come in, King and Zenit. Yeah, that's going to be the taunt under Roach, trying to find it underneath this turret. Didn't work Damn. for KT. Can it work for Genji? So far, not so much as Ruler. A lot of DPS on the back line, and now Zenit finds himself without that many cooldowns. That's a GA under Peanut, so this time he's not going to be able to find the battle that he wants. Nice. But the Spirit's Refuge is not enough, and instantly it's a double for Ruler and now King. And he felt this in lane, and he's feeling it at the very end of the game. Wave Game is dead. against the world. Wave clear is dead. Akali up in two seconds. I think genji has got this. Yep, these Nexus turrets are not going to last very long at all as King is able to flash to get himself out. There's the Nocturne ultimate, but the Nexus is the target, and Genji make this a three-game series. Genji just about stick the land. And Gango, but not for Zenit. And it's going to be Sivir, which does have some synergy with a mid-range comp, but Look at the they have lane priority. And Umpty yes, has oh, Gromp okay. respawn timer, but they know it was stolen, so Roach's here. Yep, Umpty knew, but he knew a little bit too late. As Peanut flashes to stop him West from... decides all. Exactly, and look, the range on the side of Genji also isn't exactly the hugest, and they want to be piling in to try and take you down, and Blade is going to be blocked. As, okay, Umpty's found Peanut yet again. All goes for the kickback, but can't find it as the kidnap. Moves him right into the back end, has to flash as a result of that, but followed with the blind Q. And now KT are gonna be able to take down Peanut for free. Zenit getting the kill is exactly what they That's wanted. When the coach sees you die while your team's on the Drake. You might get a paddle in Atlas, so. Ooh. Smart of him to back away from that. Speaking of paddling, D coming in. Yeah, no unbreakable now is not gonna follow the Q in and Zenit has the spell shield. Now can't block something like the Glacial Fissure. Teleport, of course, has to be taken there from Fly. Not going to take the claw as King, and immediately the World Ender comes down, and now this is the Fiesta that we've been looking forward to in this series. Life gets onto his teammates, uses the stopwatch, and somehow no one has died, and they're not going to Realm War. They're is hyper-aggressive all on top of the poor Braum, and three kills erupt out of nowhere. KT. That's the trump card. That is the time to use it too. The other advantage for BDD on the rise. He'll choose the right time for a well. Going to be feeling the momentum after that one. BDD banks the gold. It's for you, mate. You deserve it on that one. You don't need it to that be. It also means a Sivir. You blink and miss it. She's got two items, but so does Ezra. That's bad news when Sivra should be scaling. Great, hey, True Shot Barrage just going to help KT lock this one down. Peanut wants to get the steal, but doesn't. Of course, Lee Sin pretty damn good with the execute damage. The rotational King. speed here already shown. We're seeing a committal. Yeah, teleport is going to come down oh. as Peanut wants to get the kidnap. They're going to get one of the picks. No, Umpty able to go into stasis. Infernal Chains is there. It's going to pull back. Life, who's not necessarily the target that they want, as Ruler gets his first kill. Of the right now, the setup around it. Good deep vision here for a gank. Speaking of ganks. Yeah, Realm Warp going to come in as Ruler gets over the wall. Life stands behind him, and they do get to relative safety. Fly is exhausted, but can he actually wait it out as they just turn? They get on top of the Aatrox. World Ender is there, but he has nowhere to go. Flashes instantly, but goes into stasis. Rise First down. kill onto BDD is a huge Genji deal. And now Peanut looking to get in the middle of it, grabs the kill, and Snowflower taken out. Front to back team fighting, Ruler in safety, and Genji a look early is Zenit also wondering about whether he can get his. Genji want both, and that's why 
They fight for the Infernal, they'll roll over there, and it's definitely slow, but Zack can't die to Baron realistically with the That's bobs. Good point. Gets it eventually, life pulls away, and the Baron is deserved. Katie tries to make a play happen against a comp that really can beat them, unless it's a huge vision advantage and Zenit free Damn. damage by yeah. Ezreal. Confirmed, not six items yet, but things looking better than expected. Whoa, War takes a lot okay, of yeah, they don't kill the turret can in a time, get and Zenit there? is relatively low. Oh Opti's boy, every come angle. On over though, as he gets chilling smited, kicked, and that's why he can't get out of the way of it. Life gonna go down as well, and we are playing tennis between these two teams. Peanut in a whole host of trouble, I believe has the passive available, but if you buy yourself, you're still dead, my friend. They get three kills on a double flank. We zoom out and see it. How much can KT get on the back end? The seesaw continues. Uh, I just don't understand this series. It's one team win, next team win, one team win. I don't know. The yo-yo is super real. An inhibitor going to be the result here for they KT. It's a negative 800 Baron power play, and you're right, Papa. I've seen this one before. Risky. Fly makes his way in, holds himself. Fair bit of damage going down, and KT not making the same mistake. The one Blue bits being islands and uh, just a view of a horizon over the water. And uh, if it is. Smap, usually the shot caller, he's not playing. Score the backup shot caller, also not playing. I assume BDD is the big boys. Oh, Here yeah, Ruler taking a lot of damage, but that might have been the beta. Snowflower gets the devouring. They do get the first pick off in the fight, though. Umpty with the flash off cooldown is going to die. Drake's meaning that this movement speed is certainly a big deal. Smite had to be picked up by Snowflower as they're going to get themselves into the pit. YOLO! It's going to be taken by Peanut. He's got Smites in the past, going to get one here, but can they win the team fight? Fly going to go down, send it. Relatively safe fighting in this fight as he gets some autos onto Ruler. Now has to press all the buttons to get out of the way of Peanut. BDD devoured as Snowflower is trying to save them. Decent shield comes in for Peanut, but the cleanup is there. And Ruler, when he's arcane shifting forward, you know Peanut that Jesse enough to pick up the objective. They get it down, they rush through mid, and with death time is getting long, I don't even know if Sivir can stop Gen G winning the series. Exactly right, not through the Barrened Up minions as they are taking these turrets down so quickly. Gen G wanting to prove that they are still the bane of KT Rolster. Has been the case for a long time. KT bucked the trend just once, but. Looks like they're not quite able to do it again as Nexus Turret's now under fire. Kidnap, not going to get onto Zenit as Umpty has respawned. But Zenit going into stasis is not going to save you now. He gets sustained. The fear is beyond death as Genji will destroy the Nexus and win the series. So important for both teams and Genji just, and I mean just, get over the line to the rapturous applause of their fans. Roach is a happy birthday boy after all. He missed his surprise party, but he came for the after party, and the after party sounds pretty good. If you're here live in Lowell Park, they're able to pick up the victory at 20 minutes before midnight. And if Korean you remember, standard time, it was a weird one. It was a long one, but it's a Gen G victory after all. Yeah, he just wanted to have as much time here in Lowell Park as he could possibly get very close to four hours on the stage as our Genji will take a bow well deserved in this series but is it a good sign as we have a look back as we open our field of view to see what this means as far as level of play from both of these squads back-to-back -back messy series coming through from Genji and you can see how happy they are that it's over ready to go to bed but peanut